All right, guys. So I just want to show you guys something because we're getting kicked out of our apartment. So I got all the boxes right here. All right, guys. So I'll tell you guys the story real quick. So on January 15th, I got an email from the landlord, right? And the landlord said that me and you, we have to find another place because the studio, which we have right now, can only hold two people. And two people, that's what the property manager said. So we have to go. The reason why me and you is having a baby. So that makes three people. But it's like a little baby, right? Like, and the studio is perfect because it's not too big. And everything is so close, you know what I mean? We have everything established, like paying, you know, we got, we know how much to pay, everything is set, budget is all set, but we have to leave. So that wasn't the 15th. What me and you's goal is, is to find a place before February 1st. So yesterday, me and you, we went, we went to two open house and we got to check it out. It was really ghetto, like, it's like a college apartment had a lot of cockroach the wall was tearing apart and that's the funny thing is that it's kind of hard you know to go back to that kind of situation that live on um, that lifestyle of like cockroach everywhere because we live on the 37th floor and we hardly have those so it's like we're going from 37th floor all the way to you know first floor and it is what it is but that's what's happening that me and you have to move out out of our studio because there's gonna be a third person which is going to be our baby and that's the rule of the building so right now I'm gonna go pack up all the stuff you see over there all the boxes I am also just like even though we don't have a place yet I might as well just start packing right now so everything else is easier but the problem is we have all these couches that we got for the baby we got baby crib everything and then now we gotta go rent a truck to bring it to the next place it's gonna be such a hassle so ah, happy 2019 so we're gonna start with the kitchen so far I cleaned the closet right here and then we have all the stuff here watching Ronin Kenshin it's my favorite show I put down the baby carriage you is cleaning out the whole kitchen set so got all this right here we are moving thank you Lionel <laughs> oh, there you go. You can see your shadow. Feel the van, how full it is. Look at this. Fit everything one speed. Shit, look at how close we are. Okay, let's get the baby shed out first then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have all the bed stuff over here, the mattress, and you can't see it, but in the very far back, it's just a whole bunch of boxes filled like all random junk. My sister bought lao lao, rice, and lots of kalbi. Thanks, thanks. Fucking feel. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Thanks, BJ. Yeah. <laughs> So it's 7.32, this is the aftermath. We really couldn't do everything today. Hey guys, it was a productive day. Thank you BJ, thank you Aira, thank you Jolliver for all your help. You and Jolliver did their best to pack everything in this house. All right guys, this is second day moving. I still got a couple of stuffed kitchen things here. And on this side, lots of kitchen things. It's just me right now. My brother guys are not helping me. Um, a is gonna come and help me though. So I just have a car and no van and I'm gonna go back and forth, back and forth. All right, so this is what I have for the first batch. All right guys, check this out. The whole front is covered. The whole back is covered. Load me in a -Rod. Good, good. We're done. This was my view for the last four years. I've been living over here. Gone, empty, removing all this. Look at this craziness. Please, yeah. Thank you, Arod. Appreciate it. Of course. Alright, Chodang having a lunch break. Thank you, Arod, for helping move. Of course. Bye, Arod. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs>